Chapter 23 of Concise Commentary on the Book of Matthew. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Bill Mosley, Llano County, Texas, USA. Concise Commentary on the Book of Matthew by Matthew Henry, Chapter 23 chapter outline jesus reproves the scribes and pharisees verses one through twelve crimes of the pharisees thirteen through thirty three the guilt of jerusalem thirty four through thirty nine verses one through twelve the scribes and pharisees explained the law of moses and enforced obedience to it they are charged with hypocrisy in religion we can only judge according to outward appearance but god searches the heart they made phylacteries these were scrolls of paper or parchment wherein were written four paragraphs of the law to be worn on their foreheads and left arms exodus thirteen two through ten thirteen eleven through sixteen deuteronomy six four through nine and eleven thirteen through twenty one they made these phylacteries broad that they might be thought more zealous for the law than others god appointed the jews to make fringes upon their garments numbers fifteen thirty eight to remind them of their being a peculiar people but pharisees made them larger than common as if they were thereby more religious than others pride was the darling reigning sin of the pharisees the sin that most easily beset them and which our lord jesus takes all occasions to speak against for him that is taught in the word to give respect to him that teaches is commendable but for him that teaches to demand it to be puffed up with it is sinful how much is all this against the spirit of christianity the consistent disciple of jesus is pained by being put into chief places but who that looks around on the visible church would think this was the spirit required it is plain that some measure of this anti-christian spirit prevails in every religious society and in every one of our hearts verses thirteen through thirty three the scribes and pharisees were enemies to the gospel of christ and therefore to the salvation of the souls of men it is bad to keep away from christ ourselves but worse also to keep others from him yet it is no new thing for the show and form of godliness to be made a cloak to the greatest enormities but dissembled piety will be reckoned double iniquity they were very busy to turn souls to be for their party Not for the glory of god and the good of souls but that they might have the credit and advantage of making converts gain being their godliness by a thousand devices they made religion give way to their worldly interests they were very strict and precise in smaller matters of the law but careless and loose in weightier matters it is not the scrupling a little sin that christ here reproves if it be a sin though but a gnat it must be strained out but the doing that and then swallowing a camel or committing a greater sin while they would seem to be godly they were neither sober nor righteous we are really what we are inwardly outward motives may keep the outside clean while the inside is filthy but if the heart and spirit be made new there will be newness of life here we must begin with ourselves the righteousness of the scribes and pharisees was like the ornaments of a grave or dressing up a dead body only for show the deceitfulness of sinners hearts appears in that they go down the streams of the sins of their own day while they fancy that they should have opposed the sins of former days we sometimes think if we had lived when christ was upon earth that we should not have despised and rejected him as men then did yet christ in his spirit in his word in his ministers 
is still no better treated and it is just with god to give those up to their heart's lusts who obstinately persist in gratifying them christ gives men their true characters verses thirty four through thirty nine our lord declares the miseries the inhabitants of jerusalem were about to bring upon themselves but he does not notice the sufferings he was to undergo a hen gathering her chickens under her wings is an apt emblem of the saviour's tender love to those who trust in him and his faithful care of them he calls sinners to take refuge under his tender protection keeps them safe and nourishes them to eternal life the present dispersion and unbelief of the jews and their future conversion to christ were here foretold jerusalem and her children had a large share of guilt and their punishment has been signal but ere long deserved vengeance will fall on every church which is christian in name only in the meantime the saviour stands ready to receive all who come to him there is nothing between sinners and eternal happiness but their proud and unbelieving unwillingness end of chapter twenty three recording by bill mosley llano county texas usa